guys, so welcome to Dad Approved Reviews, and we've got a special guest here today. Uh, a fantastic product, a great all-around, high-value uh, product, right? Not too uh, expensive on the pockets. Should you get this knife, uh, it has a place. And uh, if you're looking for a reliable, sturdy, uh, good quality, bang-for-the-buck knife, uh, this should definitely be uh, on your shopping cart or shopping list of items that you want to purchase, right? So introducing the Kershaw Shuffle 8700. Uh, I'm right off the bat going to say I, I highly recommend it. Data approved, uh, data approved review. And uh, let's talk about some of the key features of this knife, right? Some of the key features of this knife. First of all, the bladed steel itself, 8CR13MOV. Uh, great, reliable, everyday use steel. Not too hard to sharpen. Uh, I haven't sharpened this specific knife, but uh, the steel itself is not that difficult to sharpen. It holds its edge pretty well, um, and so it's a great all-around steel. It's not the top-of-the-line steel, but you know what? Uh, in an everyday carry where uh, it's priced just right, um, this is a great quality steel. And Kershaw made an excellent choice in using this steel. Um, not only that, another key feature of this knife is the warranty. Come on now. Kershaw brand, hands down, one of the better companies out there, USA company, and they stand behind their products. You put down some money for a knife, and they're going to be there for you when you need them. right? They also sharpen your knives. How wonderful is that? They care about their customers and their products, and they back it. And so you might be out for a few weeks if you mail it back in to take advantage of the warranty or service. But you know what? They stand by their products. And they're going to take care of you. So it's peace of mind knowing that uh, you're going to spend some money on a knife and the product and the company will take care of you. Right? You can just see it's got a lot of shape and curves to this knife. Uh, really good. Um, in addition, uh, it's also got the Kershaw liner lock. Um, the liner lock, of course, uh, this is a pocket knife and the blade folds out. But once it's locked, uh, there's no blade play. Blade play. And, and, but in addition, the liner lock, you just depress it and it closes. Right? Now, so the advantage and disadvantage. The advantage is you can, you know, use the thumb stud there to pull out the knife. And it's open and it's locked, right? But when you depress it, you've got to, of course... Uh, press down with the thumb and then close it in, right? Just to be safe, right? And so there's an advantage and disadvantage. Uh, the advantage is it's a very reliable system. It's sturdy, it's strong to hold that blade in place so that you don't get injured. Um, but then some people like the fidget factor, right? When they want to close it and they hit the access lock or other types of lock release systems on other manufacturers and it has a nice feel, but this one doesn't have that. Uh, but it does work the way it's supposed to, right? So in addition to this, uh, we also have here the specs. Uh, oh, before I get to the specs, excuse me. The price of the knife, $28.86. That is the MSRP for the knife. Now, MSRP doesn't necessarily mean the price that you're going to get the knife for because there are a number of retailers that have this item on sale every now and then. And if you can get it at a, at a lower pri price, why not? You know, because at $28, it's a great value. But uh, if you can get a discount on it and get it for even cheaper, shoot, it makes it even more compelling. It's a great knife already, but at a better price, even better. So let's go over some of the specs here. The specs include overall approximate length of the knife, 5.75 inches. So let me line it up, tilt it, show it so that you can see uh, the specs here, 5.75. Let me just help the camera focus. About 5.75 inches, right? Um, that's from the tip of the blade all the way down to the end of the handle. Uh, in addition, the blade Length is about two and a half inches. And one thing I want to point out with regards to the blade length is this. So I don't know if it's in focus. There we go. Um, when I say it's two and a half inches, if you look here, that's the bottom of the blade steel, right? And to the tip of the knife is two and a half inches. But if you look, the cutting edge is actually two inches. The blade itself is two inches from the tip uh, to the edge of where the blade ends. Um, and part of the reason is because that's where your hand falls right into place, like a glove, just hand, falls right in there. And uh, the cutting portion is actually just two inches from here to here, okay? Um, next feature about that, the blade width, about 1.25 inches. 
So if you see there, 1.25 inches is the width. So you, just to give you an idea of what it feels like in the hand and how wide it is, it's about a little over an inch for the handle uh, area, all right? Um, and, and just so that you have an idea of what we're working with, um, if you're deciding whether you want to get this knife or not. So that's a blade width. Next we have the handle material. It is a glass filled nylon, right? And uh, I gotta say, it's very sturdy, very tough, uh, strong. Uh, and uh, it's got the case, uh, added texture grip, which is excellent so that it doesn't slip around in your hand. Um, but in addition to that, uh, it's got a strong feel to it. Um, and what, what you can obviously tell here is the cutouts. It really does fit nicely in the hand. Now I wear a size larger, uh, actually more of an extra large uh, glove, but uh, if you look, it still feels great and it's cut out just perfectly so that it fits in your hand uh, in case you need to use it, right? So a, a good stylized knife uh, with contours in the grip so that uh, finger grooves are, are cut out for it. Um, the handle length itself is about 3.25 inches and, and that's going from here, the tip of the, uh, the, the handle all the way down to the uh, tip where the knife uh, blade sits, right? So about um, 3.25 inches. The weight, 2.8 ounces. Uh, fairly lightweight, you know, but the thing about this is it, it feels very sturdy and short and stout. That's what I, I can best describe. It's very dense. So it is a lightweight knife like you put it in your pocket. It doesn't put a lot of pull or weight on it. Um, but you know what? It still feels heavier or stronger than it actually is. So it's a little uh, misleading. And part of the reason why is the quality products. The construction of it is really high end. And you can tell that they didn't cut any corners. Kershaw didn't cut any corners uh, in making this uh, affordable knife. Uh, it really does feel great in the hand. Uh, I can't emphasize enough that this feels like a quality product in the hand, you know? Um, it's obviously gotten some use, it's not the cleanest knife, uh, but uh, it's meant to be used, so um, that's that. Uh, <laughs> in terms of the knife itself, a couple of other key features that I wanna point out. Um, the, the deep carry pocket clip, right? So when it sits in the knife, um, you're not gonna be able to see a lot of it, you just see uh, a little bit of the lanyard loop, uh, uh, also the, uh, the tool, and, actually an edge right there uh, that you can use to pry, to cut packages with, or maybe even um, screw things in and out if you have to in a jam, right? And uh, that's the only part that sticks out. So it's got a nice deep pocket carry clip uh, that you can slide into your pocket. Uh, fairly slim uh, profile so that when you put it in your pocket, you might have other items in your pocket to reach in and out. Uh, you've got the opener here, um, you know, in case you have to open anything. And then, of course, you've got this uh, uh, multi-tool at the end. Uh, I think it's the best or multi-purpose uh, lanyard uh, ring or hoop or loop, whatever you want to call it, right? Because you can use it to pry open things, uh, excuse me, pry open things or even uh, cut open packages. Um, or, of course, you've got the knife blade there. Uh, but in a quick uh, reach and you need to open something, you can use that. And also, like I said, you can... Uh, if, you, if you need to use it as a flathead, you can. Um, overall, I gotta say, I'm very happy with this purchase, um, how I use it. Um, I do deep pocket carry, clip it, uh, put it in my pockets and, and carry it out. But in addition, I also do use this camera case, right? Sometimes I don't wanna have everything flying around. And what I do is this is how compact and small it is. I put it in my com camera case and when I'm out and about and, and I've got my camera, uh, which I'm actually using to record this, uh, I, I have it there and it's perfect, right? So for me, this knife, I, I can keep it in little pouches because it's compact enough and strong enough and got a good enough edge. Uh, but in addition, um, I, I can carry it around in, in different places. Like even in terms of the construction and quality, you can hear it open and close, right? Like the satisfying click, letting you know it's open. Uh, when you close it, you can hear it, right? So this is a really high quality item, a lot of bang for the buck because a lot of things in life, um, you pay 20 bucks for, what are you really gonna get for 20 bucks, right? 30 bucks, what are you really gonna get, you know? Um, even a fast food meal these days costs like 10 bucks. So uh, you think about what you get a uh, value, this is a high value item, 
Um, you know, the warranty alone that they stand behind their uh, more affordable products and they have that warranty and uh, uh, sharpening for such a, an affordable product speaks volumes about the company. You know, this is a great, giftable, usable uh, knife, uh, even for like a white elephant uh, gift because the blade is not huge, right? It's not intimidating. It's what, two inches in, in cutting length, right? So it is a great giftable item and there's multiple uses of this knife. Uh, really solid feel, uh, feels great in the hand. Uh, I highly recommend this knife. You know, I didn't, you know, it was actually given to me as a gift and uh, I, I looked at it and I thought to myself, wow, this is a lot of value and quality. Um, and this is a great gift. And, and I think it's one of those items that uh, uh, for my friends, uh, I would like to give this as a gift um, or, you know, for various reasons, just because, you know, um, I do recommend it. You should add it to your collection and put it to use. Um, those of you who own this knife, uh, tell me your thoughts. What do you use it for? How often do you use it? You know, um, how is sharpening the blade been? Um, have you guys taken advantage of the warranty? Uh, how has it been with getting uh, your knife sharpened and, and brought back? Um, what are your thoughts about it? And this end here, what do you use it for? You know, pry tool, open boxes, uh, as a flathead, what do you use uh, this side for? And the other question I have, and I know I throw out a lot of questions, um, do you have another knife in your collection that is comparable to this, right? Who, who is the Shuffle's main competitor? Like, is there another product out in their space at that price level, at that quality, uh, with multiple uses, uh, what is another recommended brand? Um, I'm just curious, right? So this is a Kershaw Shuffle, data-proved reviews. Uh, I love this knife, and uh, I think you should uh, get it. No hesitation, especially at its price point. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe, like, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews. Thank you.